shift focus to the current scene. What's wrong with today's product? Uh, you worked at a time where arenas were sold out, where ratings were sixes and sevens, and uh, and w they can't do that now. Why? Uh, I think the, the amount of options, you know, like people say, um, like, what's, what's wrong with wrestling? I'm like, when was the last time you saw a fucking music video? You know what I mean? Like, when is, like, like there, the things that, there used to be a television show called MTV that played music videos. Mm -hmm. And that was like pop culture, that was as hip as it got. Next thing you know, it's on VH1, next thing you know, it doesn't exist. So, I, I know that I saw, what I, what I saw was I sat in the Bar Barclays, Barclays, whatever the fuck, in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and, I, Center, I, yeah. and I and I watched the uh, I watched the NXT pay per view, and I watched Sasha and Bailey have that match, and I watched the transitions they did when they were on top rope, and they were positioning to suplex or go into a move. Mm -hmm the crispness of the elbows that they drove into each other to break the holds to like everything they did uh it was just it was so refreshing because they told a story they didn't use their fucking finishes for high spots nobody kicked out of a fucking 450 moonsault fucking two minutes in you know it's it's you can that show was amazing, you know, the atmosphere, like pulling up to it was almost like being at like some fucking indie band that was like Pearl Jam, it was like going to, to watch Pearl Jam when they first started going and we were in Seattle. Right. It had that kind of a feel that this was something that was going to, you know, just organically was growing. So you know, two years ago, fucking NXT tried to run a house show and drew 42 people. There's 16,800 people to watch this product, and the product's different than the product that I watch mm -hmm. on Monday. You know, but why can't they garner the Monday ratings? I, number one, you would you would if you if you would just start the fucking show with a match. Okay. Instead of that same, it's such a formatted, I feel like it, it's like watching Family Feud. Doesn't matter who's, if it's Steve Harvey, doesn't matter who the fuck the host is. I know the show. Right. Ding, ding, fuck, top answer. You've got to change the format. It can't be the same every fucking week. Is this because you don't have enough wrestling people involved in the creative? Like what? Like you know this. I assume Paul knows this. What's what's the blockade? There's no competition. If you want to watch professional wrestling, you watch the WWE. Or you don't watch Dick. But I mean, I'm saying, for, it's as far as becoming so formulaic, I'm assuming people there know that too. Well, when I they think can I, I just, sit back my out. whole thing is, I, I, I understand what they're doing with Raw, because what Raw basically does is, is Raw is, is you know, I just think that they, they need it to be called Monday Night, WWE Monday Night. Mm -hmm. Then they need to Friday night, at 11 o'clock, do an hour show, that's fucking raw. You own a network. You own a network, it doesn't... What's different about that show? No, it's more no, violent? Everything. It's, it's fucking what people, it's what the, a, an older demographic wants to watch. I, it's hard for me to dis, distend my believability when somebody says, I'm gonna kick your butt, and you fucking go down and see some fourth graders getting off the bus, and one kid's calling the other one a cocksucker, and the other one said, yeah, that's what your mom said last night when she was sucking my dick. Those are fourth graders. Know your fucking audience. Mm -hmm. 
But it's the shareholder thing that we talked about before. The what? Great. That's great. You know, but, so, but you've got, I mean, you can't, I mean, I still think you can have something that's... that's a little edgier? Yeah. And just the fact that, uh, on top of anything, you know what? My favorite shows on television are House of Cards, Homeland. If those shows were three fucking hours long, go fuck yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do it. I mean, fucking, is there enough? I, I fucking got baked, saw Avatar halfway through the movie Blue. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> that, it's like. I got it. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I get it. But too long. <laughs> you know? You think Zoe's coming back? I hope. <laughs> It's kind of like, they, keep, they keep teasing it. My whole thing is that anything that I have to wear a catheter to fucking watch is uh, you're not going to fucking get me. I end up DVRing it. Um, talk about where uh, Jeff but Jarrett. I, can I say something? Though? You say anything you want. Like there, there is. I mean, I think Seth Rollins is fucking incredible. You know, I really think he's great. Um, I think you know. I look at, at, at moments like when 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 uh, when Cena got beaten by Owen, by Kevin, and Cena came out and cut that promo on him. That was as good a TV as I've seen in fucking ten years. Well, but John's he's special. Yeah, he is. I mean, but the thing is that if you're gonna fucking if you if you're gonna hot wind it. Hot winded, do give me something, you know. But if not, man, then fucking give me, give me some fucking wrestling. How should should everything be written for these guys? I mean, no. it's, it's a quality control issue. No. How do you grow? I mean, I've been on fucking movie sets. Ninety nine percent of the shit that ever makes it on film for me. Is shit that fucking it's the third cut, and they say just one of yours mm -hmm. because there's nobody that's fucking sitting there writing that's been six ten. You've been in, you've been in a WWE locker room. I haven't. How many of these guys would be able to if if you just gave them three or four bullet points? And you'd, be, you'd be surprised. Positively. Yeah. You'd be surprised. So maybe they'll try that then. Yeah. We'll see. I'm just saying that. My, my whole thing is this, you know. Uh, what do you what do you have to, wait, what do you have to lose? I, I think maybe again again is public it, company. It, somebody says the wrong thing. Somebody slips. Somebody, somebody could control. Somebody could easily slip. Now, they still got a seven. Need it. I think they're more comfortable with it being so controlled. Uh, they count the screen time. Of every ethnicity, so that it can be pro this is a fact. Uh, there's someone at the tower that does that compilation, so that if ever it's brought up, a uh, company, you know, those public companies, uh, they have it. They go, no, 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 no. There's who was the who was the, who got the big pop because he was discovered to be a non-white. Seth. Seth. They're like, wait a minute, we could put him in the non-white category for all that TV time. So the decisions that are made are made. Was he Serb? From very. <laughs> what is he? Seth Rollins. I think he's Puerto Rican. Kobe Lopez. All right. Well, but anyway, my point being that I'm it's. I'm American that, Indian. I got another fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not a non white. Roman Reigns? Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. We'll take a look and know that he.